Hello and welcome to Fame Motorsports. And on the eve of the first Grand Prix of the year, well, the first Grand Prix weekend of the year, some big news coming out of Red Bull. Christian Horner has officially been cleared of inappropriate behavior allegations by Red Bull and will continue as team principal as is planned. Uh, very big news, actually, because it was a pretty defining moment in Formula One, uh, as per Lewis Hamilton, apparently sort of saying that uh, it's it's quite, I mean, just, you know, the concept of, of a complaint like this being raised and you know, the repercussions will set a precedent and stuff like that. We'll talk a little bit about what Hamilton said exactly about uh, the situation as well. Let's go through the official Red Bull statement, which has said that he's been cleared of any wrongdoing, although the complainee uh, has uh, the right to appeal. So it might not be the end of the uh, the the, the uh, whole shebang, but for now, it is. Before we sort of get into it, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, we'll start with what Hamilton had to say about it earlier. Um, he was asked about it, and uh, he said the following. He said, and I quote, I think it's a difficult one to answer, naturally. Uh, we always have to do more to try and make the sport and the environment that people get to work in feel safe and inclusive and any allegations have to be taken very seriously obviously we don't know everything that's gone on but it does need to be resolved as it's hanging over the sport it'll be really interesting to see how it's dealt with moving forward and the effect that it may or may not have on the sport moving forward um so yeah that's 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 i mean obviously quite a straightforward thing to say but i think he's got a point you know in terms of the 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 uh Basically, just the precedent that it sets, really. Um, Max Verstappen was obviously also asked about it, uh, asked about whether it was affecting him or Red Bull, and he said it doesn't. Uh, I'm very focused on just the performance of the car and myself. Hopefully, it will be resolved soon. Uh, it's a whole team effort that everyone has to stick together and work to more success, so that's why it's important to get everything resolved soon. Um, but uh, it has been resolved for now. And uh, this is the this is basically sort of the this is the statement. Um, he was questioned, by the way, by lawyers for eight hours on the 9th of February. He did confirm that there was a hearing taking place. Uh, he completely uh, denied the allegations, and he was at the team's launch of the car uh, last week. Uh, the, however, Red Bull have officially released the following statement regarding the incident, saying as follows: The independent investigation into the allegations made against Mr. Homer is complete. And Red Bull, by the way, this is Red Bull, hey, not Red Bull Racing. So it was the parent company that got involved and did the entire uh, sort of process, which is quite an important distinction to make. So it's not just Red Bull Racing and an internal investigation. It is the, 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 the holding company of Red Bull. Um, he says, and Red Bull can confirm that the grievance has been dismissed. The complainant has a right of appeal. Uh, Red Bull is confident that the investigation has been fair, rigorous, and impartial. The investigation report is confidential and contains the private information of the parties and third parties who assisted in the investigation. And therefore, we will not be commenting further out of respect for all concerned. Uh, Red Bull will continue striving to meet the highest workplace standard. Uh, so very important part of, of that, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, regardless of the fact that he's been cleared, Christian Horner will be under a bit of a microscope this season. You know, we need to be very careful with how he acts because you know, one complaint can get dismissed and, and whether it was warranted or not, you know, apparently the grievance to the full extent wasn't warranted, but whether there was still, um, you know, reason to complain, your chances are there probably was. You know, chances there probably was uh, maybe a slightly overreaction, but not to the extent where it warrants any sort of disciplinary reaction. You know, I highly doubt this is just a, you know, a small comment being made that was sort of um, blown to this proportion. So there probably was some sort of an incident, um, but they've obviously gone through and decided it didn't warrant any punishment. Uh, but he does need to be careful because, as I said, you know, one one incident that gets dismissed, that's fine. Two, and all of a sudden there's a trend. And unfortunately, you know, you're now under the microscope with regards to, well, somebody could have not particular exception with how you act. So this could yet happen again. So he does need to be a little bit careful uh, in the season coming. But massive news for Red Bull, who are probably looking to go 1-2 this weekend in the Bahrain Grand Prix, uh, which is on Saturday. Uh, so big news, news to be able to be able to get through this and and uh, as we're going to testing tomorrow, which we will be live for, by the way. Make sure you come and join myself, Reese and Mark over the next three days as we bring you the live uh, reaction, timing and action of the 2024 Formula One season and the first race of it. So uh, be sure to smash like on the video if you are new, but then subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some live streams. Uh, we'll also be doing a racing stream, which we'll be able to watch throughout the weekend, all the various various sports uh, presenters, the behind the scene guys, all going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the official 2024 racing season 
uh, obviously be simulated on uh, on the F1 game. So it'll be a lot of fun as well. So make sure you come and join us for the season. It's going to be a fantastic year. My name is Steve. Thank you very much for watching. I'll chat to you guys soon.